Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's find the equations for the moment of inertia of an ellipse relative to the x-axis as it rotates about the x-axis, relative to the y-axis, and relative to the origin, assuming that the ellipse was placed with the center mass right at the origin. Now we also have to realize then that if we take the ellipse and reduce it back to a circle such that a will equals b, then the equation should then reduce down to the equations we got for the circle. Well, let's see what we have here. In the x-direction, since we have, we're going to, well, not in the x-direction, but relative to the x-axis, notice that the b is in the perpendicular direction uh, compared to the axis x. We then get the equation to be 1 quarter pi a b cubed. And then notice that if a becomes equal to b, equal to r, if it's a circle, then we get 1 quarter pi r to the fourth, so that seems to work. In the y direction, the equation then becomes as follows. It is equal to 1 quarter pi a cubed b, and again, when b becomes equal to a, you can see that gives you the equation of a circle, and we have 1 quarter pi r to the fourth. Now the area of an ellipse is pi a times b, so this can then be written as 1 quarter pi a times b, which is the area of the ellipse, times b squared, or in this case, this can be written as 1 quarter times pi, oop, I got ahead of myself, should be a pi, not an a, so it would be pi a times b times a squared. And again, notice that this is simply the area of an ellipse. Now, for the moment of inertia relative to the origin, it simply would be the sum of the two, the moment of inertia relative to the x-axis plus the moment of inertia relative to the y-axis, which is equal to 1 quarter pi a b cubed plus 1 quarter pi a cubed b. And notice we have a common factor of one quarter, pi a and b, so we can pull that out. This is equal to one quarter, pi a b, and then we're left with a b squared plus a squared. And realizing that this is the area of an ellipse, this is equal to one quarter, the area of an ellipse, so a of an ellipse, or maybe I just put the symbol down, so area of the ellipse like this, times, and we'll reverse order, a squared plus b squared. So this here is the moment of inertia of ellipse relative to the origin, and here we have the moment of inertia relative to the x and the y-axis of an ellipse. That's how it's done.